Welcome to the Marvel Superheroes RPG Live, presented as part of the 2020 Thought Bubble Digital Fringe. I'm Al Kennedy, I'm the co-host of the long-running comic book podcast, Host of Astonish, and the host of the Terry Pratchett interview podcast, Desert Island Discworld. And I'm about to guide three comic pros through a special 1980s-tinged session of the classic TSR role-playing game, Marvel Superheroes, also known as the Phaser Rip system. We're going to go around and introduce our players for the special session, so if everyone would like to say who they are, what their pronouns are, and who they'll be playing, that would be great. If you want to do it in, well, I suppose you could do it from uh, the order that you're appearing in the uh, the sidebar there. Sounds good. So, hi, I'm Jamie McKelvey. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. I will be playing uh, the Armored Avenger himself, old shellhead Iron Man. Hi, my name's uh, Al Ewing. Pronouns are he, him. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, the... Raging old canuckle heads, Wolverine. <laughs> and I'm Becky Clunan. My pronouns are she, her, and I am playing the amazing Spider-Man. Excellent. Um, as I say, I'm Al Kennedy. My pronouns are he, him, and I will be the game master, or as Marvel Superheroes game has it, the judge. <laughs> like living tribunal, but better at wearing a hat. For those of you who aren't familiar with the game. Don't worry, because those of us who played it in our youth aren't that familiar with it now either, so this is going to be a pretty fast and loose interpretation of the rules. If we don't know exactly how something works in the official rule set, we're not going to stress it, and we would suggest that you don't either. The game is structured around seven core stats. Fighting, agility, strength, endurance, reason, intuition, and psyche, hence F-A-S-E-R-I-P, Phaser. You'll see how each factors into the game as we go. The basic mechanic is pretty straightforward. If at any point the outcome of an action is in doubt, or if one of the heroes wants to wade in and start fighting, the player rolls on this beautiful table. Let's see it. Come on, show us the table. That's the one. Ah, real flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they then cross-reference their percentile result against the rank of their ability score. The ranks start from feeble and run all the way up to unearthly or even beyond. And uh, that gives you a result. A white result is usually a fail. Green, yellow, and red are various flavors of success. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So the year is 1980. Iron Man, Wolverine, and Spider-Man are uh, acquaintances at this point. They know each other okay. The years of the new Avengers are far in their future. And so the um, relationship between them is not so much strained, but it's not as easy and pally as it might be in later years. We're certainly a long way away from uh, Peter Parker living in Tony Stark's incredible Avengers Tower. Speaking of Peter Parker, we join Peter as he's at home, watching TV, chilling out, drinking a, a Coca-Cola or some other non-branded uh, <laughs> facsimile thereof that could put into a 1980s comic book. He's sitting watching his uh, his wife, Mary Jane's, uh, appearances on Secret Hospital, the daytime soap that he doesn't get to watch because he's out all day. So he just records it on his VCR and watches it at night. Mary Jane herself is on a night shoot at present, so... Spidey is kicking back in the house by himself. So what's Spidey going to do with his evening? Spidey is enjoying his night off. He's um he just heard that Iron Man got back into town. Mhm. Mm from uh California, I believe. So yep. he's going to call him up and say, "Welcome back to New York." <laughs> so Spidey gets up and walks all the way across the room to get to the telephone. 
it's a commercial break and you have to watch the commercials because there was no way to fast forward back in the day to yeah. fast forward through. So yeah. he's got two minutes to make this phone call. <laughs> I always think that Spidey probably likes the commercials anyway. He likes the jingles. <laughs> That's true. As he makes his way across the, the room, um, something on the TV catches his eye. It seems to be an ad for something he's not seen before. Um, it's this odd undulating, like an robberous pattern on the screen. And it starts sort of pulsing. Blue, white, green, red, cycling through colors. It's all very, very strange. It's not something that Spidey's ever seen before. He has no idea what the product could be. As he steps a little closer, it starts really pulsing and he stops for a second. And, and then again, and suddenly blinding white flash of light comes from the TV. Spidey never makes it to the phone. Hmm. On the other end of that line, Iron Man has just landed Avengers Mansion. Mm -hmm. He's welcomed in by Jarvis. And this is old school Jarvis. This is not a uh, post Miller Ultimates Jarvis. This is a, a, a good Jarvis, not a sarcastic Jarvis. Uh, this is very much more the, the Michael Caine version of Alfred version of Jarvis. <laughs> um, it says, uh, oh, Mr. Stark, sir, welcome back. Thanks, Jarvis, old pal. It's, it's good, good to, to see you. Back. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been off in California having adventures. How is uh, the sunshine state? Well, it was fine until uh, my company was destroyed and my friends were killed, and then my greatest enemy uh, repulsed himself in the face. Yeah. Um, so I thought I'd come back, see what's happening in New York. Yes, Mondays, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Well, so I could uh, make you a sandwich or would you like me to fix you a drink? Uh, a hot cup of coffee would be great. Thank you. Certainly, sir. And how would you take it? Uh, black with two sugars. Certainly. And anything to eat? No, I think I'm good. Thank you. Very well. Uh, I believe Master Thor is arriving momentarily. Oh, Goldilocks. Okay. Indeed. I haven't seen him in a while. Let's catch up. Jarvis shows himself out. And uh, Tony Stark is left in the fairly nice, opulent uh, Avengers mansion living room. Um, and as he wanders around, looks at the place, thinks, I don't really like what Jan's done with the decor in here. He notices lightning flashing outside on the lawn. That'll be Thor. Yep. And the lightning flashes a second time, a third. It starts really, really, it starts really flashing. Like there's a there's some kind of electrical storm happening outside. But looks of things. Uh, I think I'm probably going to go and check it out. See why he's showing off so much. Yeah. So as Tony steps through the uh, the French doors out onto the Avengers patio. Everything in Avengers Mansion is called the Avengers something. Yeah. So this is the Avengers patio. Yeah. Um, what he notices is that Thor is nowhere to be seen. What is going on, though, is rhythmic pulsing of a pillar of electrical energy in the middle of the Avengers lawn. And this starts pulsing faster and faster and more and more brightly. Eventually, Tony doesn't really know where the time has gone, but he knows that he's not in the Avengers patio anymore. <sighs> Meanwhile, over at Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters in upstate New York, 
Westchester County, Grimalkin, all those words that we've read in so many narrative boxes. Uh, Wolverine is hanging out. He's just done a, a fairly intensive danger room session, and he's looking to get some brewskis. Yep. <laughs> uh, right, I will put my clothes. They're made of adamantium, the hardest metal known. And I'll slice up in the fridge <laughs> a, bit, uh, a little bit faster. As but, you do, as you do. Um, Kitty Pride shapeshifts through the wall, eases through the wall, and sure. says, Logan, what are you doing? That's the third fridge that you've gone through this week. I've got a powerful Canadian thirst. <laughs> <For beer>. Bub, <laughs> so um, don't don't face through walls because I'm a disturbed man and I could just stab you up at this point in my personal history. Sticks. I'm only I'm only just back from the secret wars. Kitty says. So there you go. Kitty says. Did you just say snicked? <laughs> no, Bub. <laughs> It's like, just, it just sounded so much like it. <laughs> said, oh, well, well, fine. You you get your beer. Mm. When you're done, we're going to be in the rec room. We're going to watch... What did they always watch in 1980s Marvel comics? Magnum we're going to watch Beyond. Arsenio. What? That's what we always watched in 1980s Marvel comics. That and Magnum. In New Mutants, it was always Magnum. So they're going to they're gonna watch uh, Magnum P.I. Mm. Well, I, uh, I'll join. I'll join you for some Magnum PI once I've had my beer, and then I slice the top off one of the cans of beer. <laughs> Just sort of bathe in it. <laughs> Kitty's like, this is such <laughs> a, an inconvenient way to drink. <laughs> like you wouldn't need to heal up if you weren't cutting your face to pieces with the sharp edges of cans all the time. I've, I need the pain to distract me from the secret wars. <laughs> Bob. The, the, you just came back from, yeah, you mentioned, she says. Anyway, I'm going to go. Why don't you come through and, and, and join us? I, I will do that. Uh... And Kitty turns and phases back through the wall. There's still a few more beers in the fridge, by the way, should Wolverine want to pick the six pack up and take them with him. That sounds, it sounds like it'll be useful. Yeah. So as Wolverine leans into the fridge to get the beers, um, the fridge light starts flickering. And it, it starts flickering on and off and pulsing. It's really distracting. And Wolverine lashes out with his claws, presumably cuts another bit off the fridge, but the light isn't stopping. And a moment later, the light gets so bright, moving has to actually close his eyes to avoid getting hurt. And when he opens his eyes, he's somewhere very different. Wolverine looks around and sees Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange. They're all stood around in a... Um, a large, almost featureless room. The ceiling is high and domed. And Strange is, he's looking kind of bedraggled. He doesn't look like a guy who has um, just got himself ready to go out superheroing or, you know, read books, which I think is more Strange's evening plan. He's bleeding from the side of his mouth. He's covered in small cuts and bruises, and his arm is in a sling. He turns to the three of you, and he says in that famous uh, Doctor Strange voice that everyone knows is a real American accent, says, <laughs> Ah, it's about time you got here. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, sorry. What the hell is going on, buddy? 
He says, Are we back in the secret wars? <laughs> I was just about to finish uh, this last episode of Secret Hospital. Now I'll never know how it ends. <laughs> What's up with it? Well, out of the three of you, the one who's come closest to it is Iron Man. As far as I can tell, we are back on Battle World. <laughs> Wolverine himself. <laughs> you mean he ate ass? I think, I think he'll, he'll lose karma for that. <laughs> well, only, only metaphorically. Can we, can we know that because we will need to edit there. Yeah. Because yeah, we've got a family about. friend. Oh, no swears. Yeah. Right. Well, Wolverine is shocked. <laughs> Wolverine absolutely shocks his pants. Yes. <laughs> Just bringing 2099 swearing into it there. Um, <laughs> so uh, Strange says, yes, we're not the only ones here, not by a long shot. Uh, he's trying to remember whether long shot exists in the Marvel Universe at this point, and don't think he does. Mm -hmm. But um, he says, you are the most recent group to arrive. You're not the only Avenger here, Iron Man, and you're not the only X-Man here, Wolverine. Cyclops is here. Captain America is here. Storm is here. She-Hulk is here. Spidey. I don't know. Do you do you, do you have do you have friends? Do you... Well, I I I think so. <laughs> okay. That's well. I mean, that's good. It's good. But judging by what's happened, every time a new group of heroes has arrived here, I suspect we're in for some fireworks pretty soon. The other teams have gone out on missions. They've been sent out by the Beyonder. It's the usual thing, as I was told about from. The first secret wars that you all went to that I didn't, that I shouldn't know about, <laughs> but I do because somebody told me about it. And that's a story for another time to move past that. Beyonder's looking to, to test us and to see how we handle various situations. And just at that moment, the room darkens and a booming voice is heard and it says, I am the Beyonder. Defeat your enemies and overcome my tests and all that you desire shall be yours. And the lights go back up again. And Strange says, if I were you, I'd get ready. That was a very big promise, Beyond Roll Pal. I hate Tess. I thought I was done with Tess when I finished school and I haven't even got I What are we supposed to study? What's the test on? I only have one desire, to forget those awful secret wars. <laughs> but here I am again. Also, I'd kind of like to smell Doctor Strange to check he's the real Doctor Strange. <laughs> um, the, everything is a bit blurry at this point in time. Oh. So you're you're not getting any sense from anything, not even from Spidey or from Iron Man. And Spidey, your spider sense, it should be blaring right, right now, but whatever it is, it's just not getting past the tinnitus that you've got from the the blinding light that, that signified you being brought here in the first place. Spidey kind of like does one of these, you know, like he's trying to fix the TV. <laughs> Are all my systems working? I think I stuck. He, he's stuck he's a, a little bit frizzly and frazzly, but yeah, things are things are rebooting. Hmm. What was that? Sorry, Spider-Man? I think uh, maybe I got stuck in the television. Like maybe I fell asleep and I'm dreaming. And this is all a dream. Uh, I, I pinched Spider-Man on the arm. Ow. 
with your hydraulic yeah, fingers. My hydraulic metal, yeah, gloves. <laughs> well, I think at, we're that moment, mm. at that moment, the far wall of the room parts and slides open, revealing on the other side another room identical to the one that you're in. And you seem to have taken the people in there by surprise, which is good because the people who are in there are Electro, Stiltman, and Boomerang. Three, the villains, three villains who, they, they suck. Yeah. These guys suck. They really do. And um, Electro turns and he says, Ah, oh, not again. I gotta fight this spider dork everywhere I go. Oh, uh, well, I guess if this is what it takes to get our heart's desires, let's get them! Boomerang reaches behind him, pulls out one of his boomerangs. Stilt man gets up and up and up. <laughs> and we're going to be having a fight. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll for initiative. And the way this is going to work is that the, um, the character with the highest intuition score on either side is going to be the one which um, effectively acts as the... Um, uh, the one who makes the role. So that will be Wolverine on the hero's side. Mm -hmm. And the, what you will add on to your role is the difference um, in columns on the table between your um, intuition and the highest intuition on the villain's side, which is Electro, who has excellent intuition, apparently. So that is a shift of four columns. So you will add four onto your role. Okay. And oh, so Lord. whichever of us gets to go first is going to be determined by the role that we make here with your modifier attached to it. Well, I rolled a two. <laughs> I rolled a three. So we are starting as we mean to go on, poorly. <laughs> Wolverine will add four onto that to get a six against Electro's three, which means the heroes are going to go first. So, heroes, what are you going to do? Technically, we should have said what we're going to do and then rolled initiative, but who cares? Well, if, if speech is a free action, um, I have a, a plan for Spider-Man or Iron Man's approval, and that is how do you reach someone as tall as the stilt man with a fastball special into his face? I mean, Let's I have it out of the way. my feet, but that sounds fun. <laughs> So yeah. I'm going to pick up Wolverine and throw him at Stiltman's face. Okay. And so Wolverine, yeah, presumably, Wolverine presumably is going to make an attack at the point where he reaches him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. probably probably not a clawed attack, probably just punching with my metal fist. Okay. And what's Spidey going to be doing? Um, Spidey is going to shoot some web slingers at, um, at Electro gonna try to just gum up the works you know is that okay. how they work <laughs> <laughs> i think so and this is essentially a <laughs> gym shooter comic so the large dialogue balloons will ex probably cover up most of the art anyway so <laughs> it's a shame for poor old mike zach but anyway um so okay cool right in that case then iron man you're going to be throwing wolverine now this is going to be a stunt effectively so what we're going to do is you're going to make a agility feat mm -hmm. but given that you're not used to fastball specialing moving around the place mm -hmm. i'm gonna look for a yellow result on it oh um in that case i'm gonna spend some karma okay because yellow for remarkable is 66 and above and that's quite mm -hmm. risky Hmm. So I'm going to spend karma to get me into the yellow. Yeah. So this is a mechanism which is in the phase system whereby all heroes have got karma, which is effectively a cross between like kind of fate points or whatever that we have in, in modern RPGs and experience. And you get more at the end of every encounter which you complete. And you can use it to um, 
get your rolls up to a level that you need them to be. If you've got any doubt that you're going to hit a particular level that you need to hit, you can say before you roll, I'm going to spend karma to do this. You always are going to end up spending a minimum of 10 karma, um, but otherwise you'll just spend whatever you need to get you up to the, the score you want to be getting to, which, as I say, is going to be 66 for Iron Man. And I rolled 43. You're so right. 43, is it? 43, yes. I'm spending okay. 23 karma. Okay. To bring me up. Excellent. I can't mark, mark that on my um, character sheet because my pencil is in a different part of the room. I've got a cat <laughs> <in> me. <laughs> so I'm writing on my phone. I've lost 23 karma, but I have successfully thrown Wolverine. Excellent. Um, so Wolverine, at the point where you make contact with Stiltman, Stiltman is not expecting this. This is something which does no. not happen to Stiltman every day. So are you going to be making then a, just a, a punching attack, a, a bludgeoning attack, slugfest attack? Yeah. Um, apparently I should be treated as an unearthly material, according to my uh, <laughs> my stat sheets. So I guess I'm, I'm punching him uh, probably with the fighting, I guess. Yep. Um, but, you know, it'll be like a big hit with an unearthly... An unearthly fist. Um, oh boy, <laughs> I've rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> so Wolverine, um, he lands on Stiltman, <laughs> and effectively you're kind of wrapped around Stiltman's face. Poor old Wilbur can't see a darn thing right now. Um, no, you. Oh well, no, I'll say that too. <laughs> the future. Fair enough. Um, so then on to Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Rolls a 44. Cool. So that's for your, you'll be using your agility. My agility, which is 50. Yeah. And 44, that is a green result. So you have succeeded in hitting uh, Electro with your webbing. And... Your webbing is, what the material strength of it is incredible on its first turn and then monstrous on its second turn. Um, so Electro gets a, a blast of um, webbing right in the face. Yeah. Staggering around. Um, and now on Electro's turn, he is going to try to burn that webbing off. Got it. By zapping himself right in the face with his own electrical generation. So... The electric blasts, which he can shoot, it's thunderbolts, um, which can do incredible damage to grounded targets. So if he manages to make this roll, he will burn this off of his own face. So he's making a he's making an unarmed attack against himself, effectively. <laughs> Iron Man's getting flashbacks to the Obadiah Stain situation here. Well, he has done it. That's an 84. So he has managed to burn Spidey's webbing and it's hanging off his face. And he's just like, this stuff tastes revolting. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stiltman then decides he's going to try to um, pull Wolverine off of himself and he's going to be making a grappling attack which would be using his strength now Stiltman's strength is not great in that it's good which is not that good if you see what I mean <laughs> so oh dear yeah uh, Stiltman is foiled in his attempts to remove Wolverine from his face. That little Canuck is just too ornery and too wiry and too hairy. And he's just getting into all the mechanisms with all that Velcro-y furriness of himself. And uh, just cannot uh, pull him off of his face. He that's, what you get. that's what you get for trying to pull off the Wolverine. <laughs> this is a code-approved book, Al. <laughs> yeah, whoops. It's clever, though. <laughs> <laughs> so Boomerang takes a look around and sees 
um, Tony Stark, um, or rather, he sees Iron Man, because at this point he doesn't know that's Tony Stark. He sees Iron Man um, standing, having just hurled Wolverine, and trying to recover. So he throws an explosive boomerang, he throws a shatterang. <gasps> yeah, so he is going to use his agility. Oh, for goodness sake. So his boomerang goes sailing through the air and over the top of Iron Man's head, just. Boomerang cannot believe that he's missed. He's like, I never miss. And then he goes, oh, no, that's the other guy. <laughs> I sometimes miss, apparently. Ah, this makes me want to go and be in a, a series about a group of small-time villains that it's quite funny and doesn't run for as long as it should do. <laughs> so we're now back round to the heroes again. Um, so Iron Man, having seen this boomerang, goes sailing past you. What's next for Iron Man? Um, I think I'm just going to have to... Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to laugh at him uh, and uh, say, uh, don't worry, I'm sure your skills will come back to you soon. <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, fire a repulsor into his face. Okay. Yep. Yeah, a lot of repulsor in the face action around this time for Iron Man. Yeah, and I and I can inflict uh, less damage at the discretion of the user because it inflicts, slips up to amazing. I feel that might be a bit too much. But and that, no, I think he deserves it. Okay, so um, yeah, <laughs> the guy's a doofus. Yeah. So my fighting is uh, excellent. Okay. I'm going to pop the table back up again just so that folks can see it at home. Yep. And I got a 74, which is uh, yellow. Nice. And is that an energy attack or a force attack for repulsors? It is. Um, doesn't think, actually say. It says I think of... repulsors are force. Um, force. I'm pretty, yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, it says repulsors, amazing 50 force. And you've got your pulse bolts, which are monstrous 75 energy. So that's a bit excessive for boomerang. Yeah. So you have smashed him right in the chops. Right in the old uh he, he's he's crying because he's like, not the face, not my beautiful face. He's a sad old thing, poor old boomerang. It hurt him quite a bit there. So I did I, I'm emotionally. So 50 points of damage. Yeah. Okay. Boomerang. Yep. Right in the gub. Um, okay, so next we've got Wolverine who is still hanging on for dear life around Stiltman's neck. Right. I'm I'm wondering if it might be time to swap enemies and if I could use the height advantage to sort of pounce on Electro. Okay, sure. <laughs> and maybe sort of I mean, the, the the tricky version of this is to stab him and then stab the floor so he's short-circuited. Oh, like stab him through the foot or something. Yeah, but, I mean, it might just be easier to just drop on him with my adamantium heaviness. <laughs> and just, like, <laughs> you know. Ground. Yeah, just pin him. Just pin him with a, a wrestling move. Okay. From this so, height, it'll hit. So you're going to jump off of Stillman. Yep. Onto Electro, so I think like an that, elbow drop. So that is definitely going to be an agility feat. Please. Okay, and my agility is remarkable. Uh, so that means if I get anything above, I think it's a thirty-six. It's a green. Yep. So here we go. Oh. Uh, one of the dice keeps cocking. Sorry, then. Sorry. Right. There we go. Um, 63. Oh, nice. So, still in the green, but only just. Um, nearly out into the yellow there. So, Wolverine lands heavily 
on um, Electro. And I think I'm going to count. I'm going to count that I think as a charging attack. Um, certainly, there's there's less um, in the way of uh, actual um, rules around how one would go about dropping on somebody's head. Um, so let's say that as Wolverine has fallen, so Stiltman. Stiltman can clear 25 story buildings without any difficulty, apparently. Which is oh. uh, that's bananagrams. Um but fine if that's what you can do. Um so you let's see. You not okay, so this is gonna be effectively like a kind of a this is a blindsiding attack as well. So you're actually going to take a plus two to your column shift to hit. So oh, you're wow. going to get a yellow there, which is going to be a slam result. You're not going to do you're not going to do damage to him per se, but you are going to knock him down. So Electro is now lying on the ground, having been effectively hit by a, a flying cannonball kick. You winded him. But you've not done anything significant to injure him, but he is absolutely decked on the ground, and you've um, shorted out whatever um, electrical bolt he was about to try and fire. Um, so, Spidey, you just seen Wolverine come down like an avenging angel and smack Electro teeth first into the tarmac. Uh. Spidey looks over, and as he shoots his web slingers to uh, Stiltman's legs to try and, like, tie him up so he falls down, oh, he, he laughs over at Electro. He goes, you're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Strange looks over at, at what Spidey's doing. He says, good idea, Spider-Man. Just like in that brand new movie, The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> I got a 78. <laughs> Nice. Okay, cool. So you are, yeah, I'm going to say that's definitely going to be enough for you to be entangling. Uh, yeah, because it's going to be, a. I think it's going to be a, basically a, a grappling attack. So you're going to get a, what, Spidey's strength? Spidey's strength is 40. Okay, so... Yeah, so you're going to uh, get a pretty good hold on Stiltman's legs. Stiltman starts to sway and stagger around. He's not looking like the kind of guy who is um, looking forward to falling uh, 25 stories. Um, so next up, we go back around to the villains again. And Electro... Um, picks himself up off the ground, staggers around, turns and looks at um, Wolverine and yells at him. It's like, who even are you, shorty? I'm going to uh, short you out. And he's uh, going to, yeah, he's going to try to... Um, grab Wolverine to electrically shock him and that's a grappling attack so that's going to use Electro's strength which is excellent oh that's a 78 well, that's a partial so he has got a partial grapple on Wolverine and um he is going to administer an electric shock of monstrous energy damage, which is going to drain mm. 75 points of health from over. Well, I've only got 110, but um, yeah, and my uh, bear, bear in mind, you've also got um, regeneration and recovery. Also, after this, you got that all, yeah, but nothing. 
nothing that will help me against an electric shock in the moment. Uh, so this is going to be quite a quite a tasty uh, quite a tasty attack. Is there anything I can um, can I re have a reflex against that, or does it just happen? I think pretty much just that he just reaches out and just well bear hugs you from his, from his vantage point of the floor. <laughs> I'll grit my teeth manfully through it, yeah. as the old knuckle head must. <laughs> it's not the only time in Wolverine's history that he has been subject to random electric shocks being passed through him, but he doesn't know about those yet because Barry Windsor Smith hasn't come along yet. So um, that's all to come. Um, so Stilt Man is going to try to extricate himself from this webbing. Um, He's going to make a strength feat to do it. Now, that's against mm, that's against an incredible. Is yeah, his strength is good, and the webbing strength is a minimum of incredible. So it is actually not going to be possible for Stilt Man to um, make this save. So what happens instead? Stilt Man tries to pull out of the. Um, the webbing and just in almost beautiful slow motion stilt man goes from being a tall guy to being a long guy and hits the the ground with some serious whack and doesn't move you can hear him kind of going you know what they say, with great tower comes great responsibility. That was in character, by the way. Iron Man's actually clapping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boomerang um, is enraged by what he sees as the cockiness of Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man cocky? No, sure. <laughs> but yeah. And so he reaches back into his boomerang's holster again, and um, he is going to throw a boomerang, which he doesn't look like he's actually trying to hit you with it. Um, it looks like he's trying to get it near you. So let's see how we got on with that one. Oh, okay. So that was a 19. So <laughs> the boomerang's uh, screamerang goes hurtling towards iron man um and is interrupted in mid-flight by the toppling form of stilt man which smashes it to the ground <laughs> and boomerang just goes <sighs> so we're back around to iron man I mean, at this point, obviously he's incompetent, but I just need to put him down and move on. So um, I am going to... Um, I was really hoping you'd do something then because I've got energy absorption in my armor and it would have been quite funny to mm. watch as nothing happens as he tries to do something. I'm going to fire, fire pulse bolt, bolts at him mm -hmm. with uh, full monstrous damage. Okay. So... Um, that's that's an energy attack. Yep. Bear in mind, an energy attack can kill if you get a red. Oh. If you fired your ordinary repulsors, then that's a force thing and would not do a kill result. That's true. In that case, I'm going to force again. I'm not Wolverine. Who among us? And, and I'm not a movie Iron Man, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm also uh, not a good shot. I got 30, so I missed. Ah. The repulsor goes wide as Iron Man has to jump back to avoid the falling stilt man who's flailing around all over the place. There are legs going... I think like, we just calm down and let the rest of us fight. So undignified. Just it's really all ridiculous. of us. Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, right now, Wolverine. Right, am I still in that bear hug from Electro? Yeah, well, no, he's he's he has um, 
charged you up and everything, but you're you know, you certainly you can um quite easily um make an attack against him. It's, it was more touch rugby than full contact rugby. Mm. Well, uh I think it's time for Electro to uh, feel the old knucklehead's claws. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put both claws and yep. I'm going to stick one of them. Is it a metal floor? Yeah. I'm going to stick one end in the metal floor um, and I'm going to stick the other end in him. <laughs> really <laughs> anywhere. Nice. Like just, just a little bit. Okay, like, cool. Just kind make, of, uh, make an attack. Kind of gun, maybe. Right, attack roll. Uh, 46. I'm pretty sure Wolverine's fighting that's going to hit. It does indeed. So Wolverine sticks a claw into Electro's bicep and another one into the ground, creating a full circuit and blowing out the... Um, the electrical field of Electro, who is hurled backwards across the room, smacks into a wall and slumps down on the ground with almost like you can just see the little Tweety Birds around his head. Um, so, Spidey, you're standing there looking at the very annoyed boomerang. Well, you know, I've got these web missiles that I don't remember the last time I've used them. But they're here, so <laughs> guess what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fire some web missiles. Okay. At, um, old boomerang, and they they do twenty they have twenty blunt damage. So I don't know. Would that be like an agility roll? Uh, yeah, you're gonna be making a range attack. So agility roll. Okay. Thirty one. Okay, so twenty. Uh, they go wide, unfortunately. One goes um, over his head and one um, goes behind his back as he twists out of the way using that um, balletic style that Boomerang is known for. <laughs> it's this spidey sense in my head to bring yeah. guys. It's really distracting. As, he, as Boomerang falls, he grabs another one of his um, Boomerangs from um, out of his holster and hurls it at Spidey. So Boomerang is going to make a ranged attack. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, that's an eight. <laughs> this is pathetic. Um, so <laughs> the uh, electrically charged Boomerang sails past Spidey, who just watches it like... Oh, and he watches it as it smacks Electro in the head briefly recharging him before discharging again, adding insult to injury. <laughs> so, Iron Man. Um, there's no more time for messing about yet. I'm going to fire my repulses at him again. I was thinking about using the Unibeam just for a bit of difference, but that is... I think that's... Yeah, that's electrical. Don't want to risk it. Okay. Um, I got 40, and my agility is remarkable. So that is a green. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Just. Oh, skinning your teeth. But yes, absolutely. So you hit Boomerang, who turns around, looks at you, and goes, and tumbles to the side in a pile of passed out idiot. Dr. Strange no. around and he says, um, congratulations. That was very efficient. Well done. We should get out of here, though. There will be more coming soon. You see the walls of the, the room are starting to close back up again. So um, he shivvies you guys back through into the room that you guys came from originally. And the wall clangs shut behind. And there's just silence from... Well, thanks for Green. helping out, Doctor Strange. That was really cool of you to do. He says, Spider-Man, I'm doing my very best here in extremely difficult circumstances. 
Oh, I can tell. Not made any easier by people criticizing things that I'm doing. I wasn't criticizing. I said you did a good job. Thanks for helping. I could hear it in your tone, Spider-Man. Believe me, I'm a sarcastic person. I know when I'm being mocked. He turns around and Spider-Man's like, man, you and me. And Strange says, now, I don't know what's going to come next. It could be an, oh, here we go. And the lights go back down again. And the Beyonder says, very well, you are past my first challenge. Now, a challenge of the mind. And one of the other walls, a panel opens up. And what you see is a view screen. It's the top of the line, state of the art, light green text on a dark green background. Mm -hmm. um, it, every digit made up of a maximum of eight straight lines. Mm -hmm. um, and all it says on the view screen is the words, find me. And another panel opens up below the view screen. And on that, there is a grid, five deep, 10 long holes in the wall. They're large enough for you to put a hand into, but they're not large enough for you to be able to see very far into. Um, as soon as the Beyonder says, this is a challenge for the minds, uh, I turn to Wolverine and say, we've got this. <laughs> <clears throat> well, maybe you do, Bob Snakes. <laughs> but I happen to know a little, a little thing called the Gordian Knots. <laughs> and I put both my claws. <laughs> Dr. Uh, String says, did you just say snicked? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bub. <laughs> no, that's the sound my claws make. I don't say it. Snicked again. <laughs> I don't say it out loud. It's my claws that make that noise. Okay. Um, so you said how, how long, how many across? Ten across, five down. Um, so there are 50 holes in this wall. And it, they're dark. You can't see see inside yeah. of them. Yeah. Well, Spidey's got a little spider light. It's good illumination, and it's spider shades. I've got, I've got a torch in my chest as well. Um, I'm not sticking my hand in there. So I'm just thinking, Roman numerals. M is a Roman numeral, but E isn't, is it? Yes, E is. I think. E is. Or maybe. I don't know. I failed Latin. Oh, there we go. No, I don't think it is. And M is like, oh gosh, I don't remember. Uh, can you describe the M? Is it like, uh, does it have diagonal bits in, or is it like um, three yeah. ups and? and no, it's, it's it's got diagonal bits in. It's e, um, it, it's done with a kind of calculator style M group. Basically. And so if you turn the M on its side and the three upside down, it makes 33. That's true. It could be three across, three down. Anyone want to put their hand in three across, three down? Wolverine? Um, I'm, no, but I am going to put my hand into that. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I've got a better idea. <laughs> I, I put my claws... <laughs> <laughs> and I slash a big hole in the view screen. <laughs> <laughs> There's one hole we ain't tried. And it's this one that I just made with my adamantium claws. 
And so Wolverine... It's like when we fought Arcade. He's on the walls. <laughs> Wolverine um, slashes into the view screen, which sparks and blasts out um, an electrical discharge, knocking him backwards across the room. Um, the view screen goes blank for a moment. And then it starts up again. And the words on it now read, find me and don't do that again. They sure showed you. Thank you for your input, Wolverine. <laughs> I'm going to have to use my healing track for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah, put I think we definitely should be doing that anyway. Like um, factor in, as it were, what Wolverine's recovery and regeneration should be doing to his health. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's a big old blast in unearthly. that. Uh, While he's doing that, I'm going to put my hand in three across, three down. Okay. So you feel around inside the slot and there's a switch which your fingers connect with. Uh -oh. When you do that, the words on the screen change to the words three right. I guess I'll move three across and then put my hand in the sixth one. Okay. You feel around again in this hole and again there's a little switch which clicks. And the words on the screen change and say, two up. I look around. Nobody else is volunteering. I guess it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Take my hand in the next one, two up. You're doing great. <laughs> the words on the screen change to four left. You're doing so good. Thank you. Uh, I do the same. I move across four. Okay, give me the, uh, if you could give me the numbers that you're you're going for, that'd be good because um, I just want to make sure you're you're putting your hand in the right one. So it was th three. It was three across, three down to start, and then six across, uh, three down, and then it should um, be two over. So, so one, mm. one down, six across, and then what was the last thing? It said four left. Like, Four over, so then uh, one down, or like the first row, two across. Yep. So you put your hand in there, and the, the words on the screen change to say five right. Um, so yeah, I go across to uh, one, the first row is seven. Mm hmm. Across. Mm hmm. And I mean, the, the words change to say four down. Okay, uh, seven across, four down. Spidey's um, cutting on his fingers right now. <laughs> changes, changes to say two up. Uh, seven across, two down. So you put your hand in one, seven across and two down, and you are hit with a wave of electrical energy, which goes straight into your armor and does 30 points of damage to you. I can absorb energy. Go for it. Uh, You're definitely the right guy to do this in that case. Circuitry <laughs> may absorb up to an earthly amount of energy each round. Oh, there we are. So, You just I got a little bit of recharge. It tickles. Yeah. Um, I sort of lost count at that point. Was I, was I in the right place, Spider-Man? Uh, yeah. Seven... So one one was it one down and then seven across i um, one, one down seven across and then you'd gone four down oh, so that should be five. Five. oh yeah you should be you were one one down it was it should one be seven should be yeah seven across down. five down so yeah I'll try and, again. Then, and then that said two up and you went seven across two down uh should have been seven across three down yeah yeah so you move your hand one slot down and the words on the screen which had briefly changed to say ouch 
Weird. Um, now say all left. Okay. Uh, the first column, three down. So it now says one down. Uh, That's so the first column, four down. Yeah, and it says one right. Uh, second column, four down. And it says four right. Uh, sixth column, four down. It says one side. One side. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. I mean, with your armor, you can guess wrong. That's true. Um, I've also, um, my mind went blank and I forgot what um, row I'm in. Six. Six. Okay, so uh, yeah. I'll go uh, third column, six down. Right, there's no, it's across the way it's 10 and up and down the way it's five. So okay. you're, in, you're currently in the sixth column yeah four down right so okay so sorry then yeah fifth column four down okay um so it changes to say one down uh fifth column five down yep now changes to say two left uh third column five down changes to say top row uh third column first row uh, it changes to say six right. Um, nine, um, yep, ninth column, first row. Changes to say four down. Uh, ninth column, fifth row. Changes to say four left. Um, fifth column, fifth row. Changes to say two left. Uh, third column, fifth row. It says top row, just like you did last time you put your hand in here. Uh, first row, third column. Uh, it says six right, just like it did last time. Uh, You're caught on a loop, Bob. <laughs> um, ninth column, first row. Four down, just like it did last time. Let's go back to the one. Go back to the one that told you to... Um... Go either side and then pick the other side. Tony, it Tony, was Tony has eight. Sorry, I was just saying Tony has column, eight, so uh, he's he's lost track of where he is as well. I'm trying to remember. It's sixth. It was sixth column. Fifth. Fourth down. Five. Five yeah. down. Six column. I thought it was only four down. No four. Yeah. Five. So what's the yeah. agreement? Four or five. I I say. Wolverine, Wolverine says six column four down. Okay, six column four down. It says one side. So let's go the other direction. Six column, so seventh column four down. As Iron Man puts his hand into this one and makes contact with the switch, suddenly the view screen um, flashes all different colors and um, like firework display kind of graphics come up on it and it says congratulations across it nice well, that has really good graphics yeah very For much the 90s in which we are currently situated mm. yeah. like in those uh the, the quest world games wherever they were the hulk in them <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um Doctor Strange says, congratulations again. That took you a little longer than I thought it might. But well done. Now, who knows what the next test is going to be. And one of the other walls opens up. And what you can see in there are three alien-looking creatures like humanoid. You recognize them as being uh, the same people who you uh, saw previously populating the Beyonders battle world. Um, each of them is standing on a platform above a 
it's three separate platforms above a roiling pit of acid. And um, the Beyonder's voice comes back over the tannoy and says, Now comes your third task, the test of character. You must choose one of these people is a murderer. The other two are innocent. You must choose which one will tumble to their doom. The other two shall be spared. And the lights come back up. So I, I thought he was talking about us. So I'm looking at Wolverine like, oh, right. <laughs> Right, gotcha. <laughs> um, and I asked Wolverine quickly, say, has, has your, your famous sense of smell come back? It's, things no. are starting to. Okay. Um, Spidey notices that he's thinking much more clearly now. But spider sense still isn't going off. Wolverine notices that he's starting to be able to smell the people around him again. Iron Man is noticing that his, more, more of his systems are coming back online. Whatever blast was done to you in the comfort of your own homes seems to be wearing off. So I have heat detection sensors, mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering if the people around me Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Doctor Strange are all giving off the sort of heat I would expect. Um, the three of them are all giving off normal human levels of heat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, before anything else happens, I just whisper to Wolverine. Uh, is Strange smelling okay to you? Well, I've, I gave him a sniff earlier, but I could give him another one. I mean, Slide. you know, do it subtly. I <laughs> pretend to smell my own armpit, but really I'm smelling Dr. Strange with a <laughs> telescopic smell. <laughs> a technique I learned in the Secret Wars. <laughs> Your ventriloquism smell. You can people some people can throw their voice. Wolverine can throw his nose. How does he smell? Outstandingly. <laughs> so Wolverine takes a little whiff of his own oxter. It's not great. It's really not great. But Spider Man, Wolverine's met Spider Man a few times. And this is definitely Spider Man. This is definitely not a clone of Spider Man. Let's get that <laughs> absolutely clear. In canon. Hmm. Iron Man smells of ozone and WD-40, <laughs> as always. And strange, strange smells weird. Strange normally smells of like incense and like lilac and hippie things. This doesn't, this strange smells like cologne. You've never known him to be a big cologne guy. Right. Well, Wolverine is going to be like, I think I know who the murderer is. He's right here, Snicks. And I'm going to sort of stab Dr. Strange in the shoulder. <gasps> okay, so make a and fight. See if he, uh, the one that's already sort of in a sling. Um, so his good arms are right. A uh, 31. Okay, and you're fighting as 40, right? Yeah. Um, oh, you just, you just snuck in there. That was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a strange screams. And something flickers. 
and the illusion surrounding Strange falls away. <sighs> and you're faced with a sight which is very familiar to Spider-Man, which is the insulated green jumpsuit <gasps> and goldfish bull head no. of the Master of Illusions, Mysterio. Yeah, Wolverine no. sheets his clothes again and said, it's like I told you, Bob, the Gordian knot. <laughs> <laughs> And um, Mysterio shouts, They're on to us! And you hear the voice come back over the, the tannoy again, saying, What do you mean they're on to us? <laughs> they're on to you, Beck. And Mysterio shouts, if I go down, you're going down with me, you little carrot-topped freak. <sighs> and at that exact moment, um, two huge guns come down out of the ceiling <laughs> and sort of <laughs> and swivel and target and make to shoot at you guys as Mysterio leaps back and um, throws up a smoke cloud in front of him. So let's roll initiative. Okay, initiative roll is, oh, it's a four. Um, well, I got an eight. And oh. so you're gonna add four, we are tied. <gasps> let's roll again. Let's roll again. <laughs> oh well this time we've got a zero i don't know if that's like a that's 10 or a zero 10. yeah okay so you got 14 overall against my seven mm -hmm. so you gotta get up pretty early in the morning to outwit the old knuckle head <laughs> i mean <laughs> my immediately thought is that i was right about it being arcade as well hmm which would explain why my clever technique of slashing through the video screen didn't work because he'd, he'd seen it before. <laughs> That's the only reason it didn't work. Fool him um, one. But also it makes me wonder if the, um, the alien people above the acid are like real people. Mm. So I think I'm going to... Um, how big is that pit of acid? It's about sort of 10 foot by 10 foot. I mean... It's as big as a really big rug. Mm. I mean, I'd, ideally, I'd like to sort of get them off that. Uh, so I might sort of jump up onto one of those platforms and try and, like, leap off with one of the hostages. Okay. Is the so... acid raised, or is it, like, in, sunk in the ground? Is it, like, an above-ground, like, pool or, like, the... a kiddie pool? The it's basically like spaces in the floor have opened up. Um, right. sort of covers have slid back and the platforms are maybe 20 feet above, high enough oh, that wow. people wouldn't be able to jump down without hurting themselves. So, so man, can I even jump up? I don't know if you could jump it, you could probably. I don't know. Do you want to do? I mean, I can fly. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask one of. I'm. I'm gonna say something like, "Check on the hostages or check on the the aliens. Make sure they're not real I people." Got, and uh, wall crawling too. I can... Yeah. And then I might. I might go for the one of the guns and slash it up with my claws. Okay. So Wolverine takes a swing at one of these large guns, which is pointing out of the wall and swinging around the place. Um, make an attack roll against it, then. Okay. That's the course. Oh, it's good. It's 81. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And so that is... That's a yellow result with your edge attack. So it's a stun, which is not really going to affect a gun, but... Um, 
you're going to do what's your material strength of your claws again is it 75 or 100 it's, or it's something well that's like on earth or something um they're adamantium oh they're made of jesus they're made of class a thousand material oh, wow okay nice right so, so you're, you're not uh, that's... a thousand damage to it but um it's well in the red yeah well let's have a look you've got the um yeah so you're gonna do um what i'm gonna say is that the strength of the claws is going to overcome the material strength of the guns and you're going to do the the normal excellent i.e 20 points of damage to the guns having got past the entirety of their body armor this is absolutely not the, this is absolutely not the rules but the rule as written doesn't work at all so <laughs> well so yeah so uh, wolverine carves a big bit out the side of one of the guns which shoots wildly into the floor starts spinning around almost trying to throw him off um next um iron man um i quickly shout out to spidey um would we be able to get if i was trying to grab all three of the the hostages would i be able to get all three in one round Probably not. You might be able to swing by them and, and get two of them. Yeah. So if I if I say to Spidey, I'll grab these two, you get the other one. Um unless you've got a better plan than that, I don't know. Uh I'm just gonna no, that's a great that's a great plan. Head straight for them. Because I believe as an eighties superhero that murderers should be brought to justice, not executed. Um that's what I roll. Um, so I'm going to make that, I would say that's going to be a make an agility feet roll. Okay. My agility. Oh, Bruce is yelling at me. Uh, my agility is remarkable. Okay. Uh, 71. So that should oh, nice. be. Yeah, that's the yellow. Yep. So Iron Man swoops through the air and deftly picks up two of the civilians, uh, one under each arm, and carries them back down onto the, the ground. Nice. And now Spidey. And Spidey's going to try and do, he's going to try to swing up there and grab one of them and just bring him to the other side safely. Okay, so Spidey could also make an agility feat, please. 69. Nice. Nice. So that is, a, yeah, again, that's a yellow result. So Spidey, very nimble, as always, swings up, grabs the, the person who looks like a, a little old lady of alien origin, and um, jumps back down again onto the, the ground, again, very nimbly. And it's only then that these three civilians all turn and, and look at the, the hero who has rescued them. And their robotic heads open up to reveal a small cannon, which um, then fires. Spidey will get a warning of this because of the spider sense. So do you want to make an agility feat roll? to see if you were able to yes. duck out the way. I got a 23. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. So Spidey is slightly taken aback by this because he trusted these guys. I trusted Come them. Come on. So they are going to be shooting at each of you. Well, not at Wolverine, but at the other two. So the first one... I'm going to get a 32, and is that's an absolute disaster. So, so that's what's happening. Um, second one, 47. Yep, that hits. And so that's going to hit. So these are the first two, the first two that were rescued. So one misses Iron Man, one hits Iron Man. Um, and that is going to be 20 um, energy damage, but I'm pretty sure you're going to... I'm absorbing it. Look that up. Because I'm going to fire it back in his face. You know? 
common face with my new circuitry and my silver centurion armor which i'm currently wearing nice yes we should say as well that we've got the uh the very fancy silver yeah. centurion armor here. Uh, uh, did, you, did you get that in california <laughs> uh yeah you know <laughs> not bad old, good. old fashioned the third one does not manage to hit spidey even with his spider sense um slightly dulled by his experiences in front of the tv he um is nimble enough to roll with the punch and does not take anything more than the faintest of glancing blows to the side of the head is is enough to annoy him and to rip a bit. you know how like that sort of sam keith way of like the the mask is all coming to bits and like all kind of spiraling out a bit like that the hair sticking out um at this point mysterio who is still here um is going to um release an amazing potency knockout gas who among us is not <laughs> so I, I can make a feet roll against that gas you absolutely can i'm just going to ooh let's see 48 so that's going to be a green so that is going to hit all of you guys um, but Wolverine is going to get to make a, um, a roll I've to overcome that. Unearth unearthly, according to my rapid healing. Nice. So let's try and get over uh, 46. Oh, it's a 30. Well, if you're un unearthly, you're a 30. That's still a green result. Oh, okay. I thought I had to get better than green. No, I think no. You just, well, just have to pass. I mean, it's pretty forgiving. Um, okay. It's it's very superheroic kind of stuff. Um, um, your uh, Iron Man systems are they going to filter that out as well? I have fully functional life support systems with air supply, so I can be underwater or in the vacuum of space. So I think I can probably survive some knockout gas. Okay. Just close off the system. The little sh a little shutter comes down across the mouth. <laughs> Spidey's going to need to make an endurance feat, I think. Oh, no, Spidey. Spidey's, Spidey's endurance is 40. Oh, rolled a 70. Nice, that's a yellow result. Spidey, Spidey's seen this trick before. This is not Spidey's first rodeo with Mysterio. In fact, this is like maybe fourth or fifth time that Mysterio has done anything that even involves a rodeo. Like, he, he goes to the rodeo well way too often. <laughs> um, anyway. um, so Spidey is able to overcome the uh, the strength of this knockout gas. Um, and so coughing into the back of his um, his costume, Spidey just right in, coughing right into his own mask. Unpleasant. <laughs> um, it is going to be back to the guns now are going to each of them is going to try and shoot and um, one of them is basically shooting at the floor at this point so it's going to need to get i would say probably a red result <laughs> nope um that was a seven overall a seven that was very poor um the other one is going to try and shoot at um iron man and that is a 72. So that is... That is a yellow. That's a bullseye. What um, what, sorry? What kind of damage is it? It is going to be... It's an energy blast, so you're likely to absorb it, but Arcade doesn't know <laughs> that. I'm just standing here laughing as everyone shoots at me. <laughs> it's still the. I mean, it's still going to. Um, well, no, actually, I was going to say uh, it's going to knock you out of the the air, but you're not flying at the moment, so you're just going to go. Ugh. What what points? How many points of damage was that? Sorry, that would have been forty points of damage. And the previous one was twenty, so I'm, I've got sixty extra ready to spend. 
Do you get to blast that stuff back out again? Yeah, up to unearthly. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been in California this whole time, so nobody knows I can do this. No, exactly. Yeah. And the studio and arcade have not planned for this at all. Mm. Maybe so, Mysterio needs to go to California, learn a couple of new tricks. <laughs> I mean, you could Some do with the, the other gun. Well, it's now um, Wolverine's turn, so... Okay, well, as tempting as it is to throw Mysterio into the acid, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to jump at that other gun and try and take that one out. Okay. Um, well, basically saying... Sorry about the robots. I thought they were our loved ones. I forgot you both have secret identities. <laughs> well, never mind. So, yeah, jumping. So, I guess that's a fighting at Incredible. Yep. 46. So, that'll be a green, I think. Yeah, right? that's a hit. Absolutely. So, that means yeah, you're going gonna... to so... do another 20 damage to the other gun. Yeah. Yep. Um, each of these guns is effectively is, um, sort of double barreled, and um, so you've you've pretty much carved one of them off on one side, and the other it's kind of listing around the place and has been right thrown off its balance. And you manage to do the same to the other gun on the other side, so it's also when it comes around to shooting again, it's going to need to get a red result to actually hit because all its gyros have been shorted. Um, Iron Man. I am going to spend some of this energy um, firing my chest unibeam um, at Mysterio, I think. Okay. Yeah. Up to Monstrous, and I'm going to go for Monstrous. Okay. Will that kill him, do I think, based on my previous experience? Well, I mean, it, it's... Is it energy? Yeah. It, if it will kill him, if you get a red. Monstrous. You can always spend a bit of karma on taking it down. I'm not sure you can if it's energy. Can I, I mean, I could choose what level to... Although I'm rolling agility, aren't I? I'm not rolling monstrous. It's just monstrous yeah. damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, to be honest, it, it doesn't say when I can choose, so I can choose after the fact, I think, just to not kill him. Based on my Tony Stark smarts. Uh, not that it matters because uh, I got 17, so I oh no, Mark. Oh, that's not good. So, that all that saved up energy just blasts uh, a hole in the wall behind, and you see that these um large, thick metal walls are actually not made of metal at all, they're made out of it looks like plasterboard. Um, Arcade has obviously um, fallen on slightly hard times. <laughs> um, so Mysterio laughs. He throws his head back, presumably, and laughs. <laughs> um, but it's now Spider-Man's turn. Well, he's feeling pretty good seeing that it's just a standard lathe and plaster wall. Mm -hmm. um, and he's going to take that. He's still, I guess, holding on to this old woman robot gun he's just gonna try and like like toss her into the acid okay cool yeah um i reckon that's gonna be a strength feat um 85 nice very nice yeah that's, strength is 40. that is definitely you got what you needed and as you you turn around you see the the robot alien lady just sinking into the acid. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very sad. One very down. Sad. <laughs> One down. So the other two um, that were standing on either side of Iron Man, uh, once again, each of them is going to try to shoot at him. Um, uh, first is going to hit, and the second is not. Um, but again, you're, is a maximum of um, 20 points of damage there, which you've taken. So, But you haven't taken 
because you've just absorbed it into your your walking Duracell. Um, Everyone should get this armor. It's great. <laughs> Todd it feels like cheating to me. You're giving J. Michael Straczynski ideas. <laughs> um, and the two cannons, each are they're they're both trying wildly to hit at um, Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. First one does not. The second one does not. And in fact, um, Wolverine dives out of the way as the two cannons shoot wildly and blast each other into smithereens. I planned that. (laughs) Six. Mysterio (laughs) Mysterio turns to... Did you just say snicked? It's a sound my claws make. I don't say it out loud. (laughs) And he... He turns, he, knowing what side his bread is buttered here, and he runs for the, the exit, the hole which has just been made in the wall. So he's pegging it to get out of there. Okay. So we are back to uh, Wolverine. I mean, should I roll an Insta first or say what I want to do right now? I just say what you want to do. We've just been going in turn order. Um... I think I should. Um, I think I think I should take care of those those two robots. Um, so I'll sort of aim a claw at each of them and sort of try and just snick them up a bit. Okay, I'll just kill them. <laughs> and you're trying They're to... robots, so in true cartoon style, I can kill them up real good. You're going to yeah, it's not violence. It's <laughs> action. Um, you're going to take a negative column shift on that if you're trying to attack two different targets at once with two different... Can I, can I uh, spend a little of my karma to... You can, yeah. I think you can do a stunt if you want. Yeah, that would be that would be what I was attempting. Yeah, so if you spend 100 karma... Um, yep, that would leave me with 21 karma left. Okay, you can do a stunt... Do okay. It, do it. Do it. I will do it. And it's the... these guys. So... Right. Oh wow. Oh. I rolled a nine. <laughs> uh, Wolverine can recover from acid, right? That's fine. But can he recover from embarrassment though? That's the main thing. <laughs> So, <laughs> Wolverine does not succeed in in what he was trying to do there. Um, although, power stunts, let's have a look and see what it says about these in the book, because actually, there must be something about the fact that you're actually just spending massive amounts of karma. Yeah, I seem to just. No, it literally, it literally is just. Um, it just uses. Well, it allows the hero to use his or her power in a fashion that's hitherto not been used. How is it about instead of that? Because like, I'm sure Wolverine has in the past stabbed more than one person at a time. I'm sure not a day goes by when he doesn't stab multiple things at a time. Um, you could just spend the karma instead and we'll read it walk and pretend. But that was that's what. what I- that's what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, okay, fair enough. In that case, then I, I was uh, getting ahead of you. Apologies, that was my fault. Um, in that case, then I'll yes, you, you've absolutely spend the karma to take me up to um, and some some extra karma for the uh, for the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> one like one for the bar. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so in that case, then you skewer through. Uh, both of these robots under the chin, up through the the robot soft palate, uh, very much in the style of uh, Timothy Dalton at the end of Hot Fuzz, mm-hmm. and um, rips yes, both uh, of their heads off. I and guess we found are. out who the murderer is of robots, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> And Spidey. 
Uh, Spidey's going to try and shoot his web shooters at the fleeing... Uh, yeah, he's going to try and just get his... I don't know, stop him from running away. Ooh, ooh, 89. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so that's going to be against your... Your agility is... It's 50. Uh, 50? Yeah. 89. Oh, that's annoying. That's just in the yellow. Like, you're one... Literally, if you'd rolled too higher, you would have got it into the red. But it doesn't matter, because Spidey um, manages to shoot his webs uh, right ahead of Mysterio, webs up that exit. <laughs> A solid wall of web, which Mysterio runs full tilt into. Um catching himself on it and trying to pull away and it's just not happening that's just um, your standard web and plaster wall i think you'll find it's pretty sturdy so iron man so there's no one left standing right uh no um unless you wanted to knock mysterio out no he's fine where he is but um i am going to override my safety interfaces and fire my chest beam at up to unearthly at the wall okay just destroy this place um just to see if i can like punch a hole through to the real world yeah so you blast straight through or oh, which is if i do that though Mm -hmm. I have to make a uh, yellow feet roll on the feeble column, which means I have to get 95 or above. So I'd have is to spend it? a lot of drama. Is okay. it worth the risk? It's worth the risk for the drama, right? Yeah, it's worth it's it. One mm -hmm. shot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to spend karma to do this. Okay. Um, of which I have uh, 43 left, so I have to get over 50 something or i'm immobilized okay but i'm just really mad at this point 92 well there you go wow amazing wow. so, so tony, three power points. tony <laughs> opens up every valve in in transistor in his suit <laughs> every diode is working overtime <laughs> and he blasts a massive hole through the far wall. Um, it goes through, it looks like, um, two different um, walls to get out to the, the outside world. But you see that you, you can see out and you recognise the sights and sounds. And Wolverine certainly recognises the smells. <laughs> um of uh, the uh, New Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> and as you step outside, you see that the, um, the where you are is effectively uh, made out of shipping containers patched together and piled on top of each other. Um, and as you take a look around outside, um, you see off in the distance a uh, Iron Man uses his telescopic vision to see a um, white motorbike um, heading at some <laughs> speed away um, towards New York City. And so Arcade slips through everybody's fingers, but Mysterio is still hanging on the wall inside, <laughs> grumbling and grouching as you pull his helmet off. And he's just, he's horrible underneath that helmet. It's all sweaty. <laughs> and his hair is just is lank. <laughs> and he says, uh, I cannot believe you saw through that. I had Strange down to a T, one of my finest performances. 
I had that arrogance. I had it. Well, you know what gave you away? You said congratulations. Why would Strange be congratulating us on solving somebody else's puzzle? Go time. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. But still, we got the information we were getting paid to get. And I'm pretty sure Arcade is on his way to deliver it to the people who wanted that information. You were being tested today. And you never know. They might try again someday. And that's the last thing that he says before oh, one for him. all of you punch <laughs> him hard in the jaw. <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> that was and, a pretty good impression of Stephen though. And as you as you step out into the, the, the sun again, blinking a little bit. And Iron Man's um, Avengers communicator goes. And it's Jarvis on the other end. He says, uh, uh, Mr. Master Iron Man, sir, uh, are you returning to the, the mansion? Uh, you appear to have left quite suddenly and made rather a mess of the lawn. Yeah, I'll explain that later. I think right now... Um... I just want to catch up with a couple of old pals. Would you like me to send a Quinjet to pick you up, sir? No, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Unless anybody, anybody <laughs> want to... Be be just being like... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, it's kind of cool. If you want to come in the Quinjet, I can get the Quinjet here. It's no problem. I mean, could we take the Quinjet go and then go get some... Could we get some pancakes or something yeah yeah, yeah sure okay yeah, yeah okay yeah bring the quintet around please jarvis i still have this six pack of beer that i've been <laughs> holding this entire time and wolverine, <laughs> wolverine cuts the top off of one of them yes. which explodes in froth and foam freeze frame credit <laughs> roll. you know what that they say was, that was with the... great shower comes great responsibility <laughs> 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 Stupendous. Absolutely superb. So that was the Thought Bubble Digital Fringe 2020 Marvel Superheroes RPG Live. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Thought Bubble for letting us do this. I want to say a huge thank you, Jamie McKelvey, Al Ewing, Becky Clunan, fantastic players. It's been an enormous amount of fun. And uh, if you, you enjoyed this, then let us know. If you didn't enjoy it, then don't let us know. I mean, that's fairly elementary stuff, I would have thought. But um, yeah. we'll hopefully see you guys uh, and everybody else watching uh, sometime again. Yeah. If you like it, then uh, as, as they say in the comics, if you like it, write in and let us know. And we might make another one. Thanks very much, everybody. Oh.